Hello, welcome back to World of Warships, and today we'll have a look at the Premium Albany. Now, you can get this for free by going to the World of Warships website, logging in, going to activate bonus code, then putting in Albany, all caps. Then you'll get your free ship. Now, it's not particularly brilliant, but as a premium, you can put any of your commanders of the same nationality in so don't don't get any commander with it or get rid of the one you have so you always use one of your other commanders so I've got my Wyoming commander here so his skills aren't particularly good for it but he'll benefit from, from um, the 1 times 5 XP bonus so I can get that bonus twice every day once with the Albany and once with the the Wyoming. Of course, it being only tier two, it's not a big, big amount, but never mind. So, once you've got your Albany, it's not brilliant. It's got average hit points. Doesn't seem to be have very much armor at all. It's a bit like a small Saint Louis, but without the armor, without the guns, really. So its guns are all right. They have one fore and aft and two at either side. And secondary, again, not brilliant. But the big problem is the 6.3 kilometer range, which is awful. Basically, destroyers have better range than you. So you have to get really close, and if, that tends to mean you get focus fire by everybody, because you'll be by far and away the closest. So your concealment. It's surface detectability range 8.8 .8 kilometers, so yeah. So no AA to talk of. Again, this game's a. I find it a bit odd. Basically, what's that? Oh, you're looking at them. Ah. So basically, tier 4 and below, there is no AA to speak of. You can't shoot down planes. Which seems rather odd if you're in something like a tier 4 a World War 1 vintage, say I think Phoenix or, yep so it has AA, it's not very good but the equivalent planes from that time which should be on the tier 4 carriers, I don't know if they are were very poor, they flew slow and low and were easy to hit so the fact you have poorer guns shouldn't really matter but, of course, in World of Warships, below Tier 4, you can't hit anything. It's almost a waste of time. So, that's a bit weird. I'm not sure why they've done that. Just for an example, the Phoenix... ...has, they are, a rating of 2. The same as the Albany. Go up to 5 with the Omaha. You have 12, which is not brilliant. Go to the Murmansk, you have 21. Now, it doesn't seem very much, but you can shoot down a lot of planes with that. So I'd certainly expect every torpedo squad that goes over me to lose at least one, sp one plane to me, probably more. So I've been doing my daily missions that involve shooting down aircraft with this, and it takes three or four matches at most, depending on how many aircraft carriers there are. But below tier four, you just have no hope. You can't shoot down anything. They just don't do enough damage quick enough. And which is my other real annoyance in this game is the aircraft carriers. So high tiers apparently they put in massive amounts of XP scores, far more than any other ship. Basically, the trouble is they can drop so close that even if you're in a cruiser you can't avoid all the, all the torpedoes. In a battleship you're dead unless you have good AA. Of course at this tier you have no AA. So I'm not sure quite how well the AA works but I suspect you're never going to shoot down all the planes unless you have a group of ships with AA. Of course if you're in a group you're easier to hit with a torpedo. So, But of course players in cru cruisers don't tend to try and protect battleships generally. I mean I do but I think most people just go off and do their own thing without fault. And so the battleships basically die to aircraft carriers and there's nothing you can do about it. So I don't think any aircraft carrier have sufficient AA to shoot down enough sh 
aircraft to stop them being destroyed because of course at higher tiers they have more squadrons and better aircraft but so that's really put me off playing battleships Sim simply because I nearly, nearly always die to aircraft carriers destroyers you have a chance unless they suicide attack and I think currently secondary guns particularly on something like the Wyoming are just not good enough they should be better and I think there's also an issue with large caliber guns at close range that they just are very very inaccurate to say the least but anyway back to the Albany so it's also slow like St. Louis doesn't seem to have the armor and that range is is just gonna kill you every time basically so let's have a battle and just see how badly it goes So of course as a premium you can, there's nothing to research. You should get a bit more credits than for any other tier 2 that aren't premium. But of course a tier 2 it's not going to be a, a great amount as well. So it's almost worth just selling this and getting the, the slot. But that's up to you. I'm going to keep it for now as there's not that many different uh, nationalities there's not not that many different uh, ships to get so unlike world of tanks where you run out of garage slots very quick it's not so much of a problem in this for me particularly as I'm definitely just getting rid of the most of the previous ships as they're so similar I think in world of tanks things like the 82 are just different to other things and it's worth keeping but now are we going to get in the battle and not disconnect? But the main thing which might, might stop me playing World of War sh ships is just I disconnect non-stop. It's absolutely terrible. I thought it was because uh, I'm on playing on the American servers that that would be the issue, but no, going to European servers, I've disconnected three times in the game on that as well, so... Very, very annoying, and I don't want to be out here. And this is not a good matchup. So, what's next to us? Battle starts. Where's our album is? Um, so, basically, you want to hide behind islands, try and reduce the amount of ships that are firing at you at one time. So, if you just go in the open, everybody's just going to target you because you're going to have to be the closest to them to actually hit them. So, where's the best point here? I think possibly I'm just going to go behind this island and wait there until something comes close enough. So thankfully their team doesn't have a St. Louis. It's basically just ripped through you in seconds. It looks like I've disconnected. Great. I think uh, American Prime Time I have a massive problem, but this morning it's just been chronic again, so I don't know how much longer I'm going to put up with it, to be honest. So last night I played probably eight games, and four of those games I got destroyed while I was disconnected. So there's ships behind that island, so I need to go this side and reduce the amount of things that are going to shoot at me. Also seems that this ship has a terrible view range, you can't see a thing. But I don't know whether individual ships have uh, view ranges like in World of Tanks or whether it's just down to the surface detectability. Now you can see, I can't see that, and there's no way I'm going to be able to shoot at it. Let's go behind this island by the look of it now actually. And you can see I'm being fired at and I can't even see what I'm, what's firing at me. So I need to get behind this island as quickly as possible. He's massively out of range. And of course this, these fast firing guns and the slow ship, it's very hard to avoid fire. So I'm still not in range. I think he's actually staying still, is he? No. 
so try and get into a position where I can fire at him and nobody else can fire at me, but I'm not sure that's if he's going you know, he's going the other way. So this is very problematic. So I have to try and get behind the next island. Let's see if I can get a shot. Let's try AP, it doesn't seem to work very well. Oh dear. So we're pretty much on our own. I can't go around there, I'm just going to die. I need to. Even if I hit this island, it's worth keeping out of the way. So they're actually in range, so I just go round and circle. So I'm not sure I said before, but in things like St. Louis with these gun configurations, even the Phoenix, it's a good idea just to go round and round in circles and bring your guns to bear one at a time. So I need to go out a bit. Now circle. Is there anyone in range? Seem to be very accurate either. <laughs> ah dear. I'm actually going out. Hooray! No, I'm not hitting. So I'm after gonna. I think he might be going backwards actually. Oh, excellent, we've got our battleship just there, so can I... No, it doesn't look like he's doing a lot, that's great. And that's not great. So we're basically going to die soon. And we can't circle because we'll go out of range. We've hit him, hooray! Let's go towards the silence, so only he can shoot at us. We've got to sort of keep going towards him a bit, so we all go out range quick. Straight on this cruiser. Perhaps he just HE he as he's full. Not side on. Oh god, it's so nice. Chronic. Finally hit him. I'm not going to repair too soon. Again. Come on, get in. So it's uh, not the best ship. Didn't realise just how inaccurate the guns are there. That was oh, painful. Let's just see how this goes, because I want to see the results. Probably not well. And our battleship got destroyed. Well done. So 
So I've actually got all the cat points. And he's not doing anything. Jolly good. So definitely a loss. Oh, he is actually moving. Not doing a lot. be amusing if they lost because they didn't bother to cap. I'm sure they'll get round to it. So we did alright for the Albany. But you just, you know, as you saw, saw, you have to get close and then you get focused. And then because you have no army, it seems to be absolutely awful. You die so quickly. Even with HE, I think. Oh, this is going to take ages and he's just sitting there, so not going to see the results, but yeah, that's, it's not a very good ship, the range just kills it, you just can't compete, I mean perhaps if you've got the tier, what's this, tier 4 basically, 20% increase on range, you do a bit better, but The 6.3 kilometre range just makes it horrible. And as you saw, the accuracy there was chronic. Amazed we even hit 31 times at that rate. So, we'll leave it there for today. So it's bye bye for now, and I'll see you again next time, hopefully in a better ship. So, bye bye.